Uh, my name is Jasmine Lee Johnson. Everyone calls me Jazz, and I was one of the artist uh, mentors on this project to help uh, students learn some design fundamentals um, and just really, you know, give them some feedback and support and reflections as they came up with their designs. So what were the specific stuff they had to keep in mind as they're designing a billboard as opposed to other kinds of art? Uh, scale was definitely a thing. Um, I don't know, I feel like any design basics you could apply, um, you know, they still apply even when you're working large scale. So yeah. things like learning about fonts and making sure they're legible, um, making sure that you're working with complementary colors so that things pop, yep. um, finding ways to show and not tell um, in your designs. And also, I don't know, we, we looked at a lot of different artists and designers, um, both um, from a contemporary point of view and um, from the past. We thought a lot about composition and, and just find, finding a balance between the message that they wanted to convey, using words versus images, etc. Right. And how, how was the experience for you? Oh, it was so cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, we we uh, we did what we could do during uh, sure. these uh, virtual <laughs> moments, but um, we uh, we had fun. We played a lot of like design games. The students were really, really, really um, active in discussion and giving feedback for like you know different examples we would show them, um, and also just figuring out how to work in real time, like literally like in a program like photoshop or whatever where you're designing and everyone can see what's going on oh, yeah. um which in some ways in the virtual space lends itself uh pretty well um so yeah it was as hands-on as it could be yep. um in our remote spaces <laughs> but we made it work in um yeah, there was just a lot of enthusiasm and creativity amongst the students, which is really um, in inspiring and makes it easy to work. Yeah, sure. One of the things Kylie said to me was that she had to figure out how to get her message across in the seven seconds it's going to take for a car to yes. pass and notice it. Yes. Uh, there were some groups that did some really awesome research. You know, we sort of gave them some uh, foundational things of like, think about time, even when, you know, someone's at a museum where they might have more time to look at something, they don't yeah. like necessarily spend time. So think if you have five seconds, you know, what do you want to, what do you want them to see first? How can the design sort of work as a series of arrows to guide your eye and make sure, sure that it's like clear? you know, yeah. as possible. I'm remembering all my design basic classes as you're talking about Yeah, this. totally. Like, stuff I haven't thought about in a long time. That's great. Um, is there anything else I should have asked or do anything you have? Uh, I just, um, I just, well, I just want to say thank you to everyone who was involved, all of the organizations, PSU, Brown Arts Initiative, and of course our students. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, sort of like Precious alluded to earlier, it's really important that we continue to hear from our youth, um, not only in these times, but especially around their education, their rights, they're human, they have agency, and I just appreciate um, that we are able to programs, through programs like this, um, showcase that, so. Yeah, thank you so much for your work. Yeah, yeah. Really, really stunning.